Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am just going to be making a night vision goggles. I've kind of already started, so my bad I couldn't just wait. But uh, yeah, this is for horror games, and since it's Pokemon, you know, maybe you could add this to your horror games. I don't know, might help, might not. But I'm just making these videos for for entertainment purposes, I guess, if you guys want to learn something. So yeah, no, let me just fix my mic. Okay, now um, I just grabbed a screen GUI and the starter GUI basically, and I'm going to add a frame now. So I'm gonna just get this frame, change the size of it. I can't spell size. Okay, change the size of it to one. Then there's gonna be a comma over there, and I just put zero over there. Another one, and put another zero. So boom! Now it covers the whole um, screen. Now we're just gonna turn it to greenish color because night vision goggles are usually green. Then the background transparency to whatever you like. I'm gonna put mine to this. All good now. Now what we're going to do is add some text buttons, so this shouldn't be that bad, and add our local script. So we're just going to name our local script vision handler. We're going to name our frame the vision itself, and we're just going to name these two buttons on, and one of them will be off. So of course, let's just make sure everything is fine, off over there and on over here. So let me just change the text. So this one's gonna be on. This one's gonna be off. Right there. All right. We already have everything prepared. Right. There. Sorry if I if you guys can't catch up or something. I'll just um maybe leave a model of this in the description below. So right there. I'm gonna just give you guys time to like do this all of this stuff right there. So two buttons, one off, one off. I uh, want excuse me, one on and one off. Then a frame that this is the green frame basically. Put the size to one, comma zero, one comma zero, uh, and then change it to green and then turn the background transparency to whatever you like. Okay, um, vision handler. So this is the actual script itself. So let's start with the variables. Variables. Okay, so local night vision frame equals script dot parent local vision equals night vi wait, what? night vision dot frame dot vision local on equals night vision dot frame equals on or dot on I mean sorry local off equals night vision dot frame dot off so let me just explain these Local night vision frame, so script.parent, that means it's trying to find this, basically, the night vision frame. And the parent, so it says script.parent, so it's telling the script, and then it's trying to find the parent of the script, which is night vision frame. Local vision equals of this, so basically it's night vision.frame, so night vision, and then it's children finds vision, basically. Local on equals night vision frame dot on so yeah basically it's just trying to find the uh children or like the name of the children which is on off and vision so yeah now that they have or like the script has found it uh what we need to do next is we need to do the actual coding which is on um dot, oh, sorry mouse okay, dot mouse button one click connect that to a function parentheses and then what we're gonna do is vision dot visible equals true so um, then what we're gonna do is off dot mouse button click connect to a function once more then we're just gonna do vision dot visible equals false now hopefully this should work hmm Okay, now it should work. I'm gonna just make vision visible equals to false, or default to false, basically. Okay, I'm gonna explain the script if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to redo or like change some parts that don't work, basically. So I work to press on, and it works. Oh wait, what? Oh, this is not detect. Okay, okay, okay. I made a mistake already, but the on button does work, so that's pretty good start. So we're gonna get this off mouse button click. So. We're not gonna put that there, we're gonna put that right here. Now it should work. So if I were to press play here. 
just wait for it to um, load. Oh, night vision frame off. Did I uh, misspell that by any chance? Start or GUI off. I may have actually. Night vision. Night vision frame. Uh, let me just try it out. Oh yeah, it does not work. Something did go wrong. So I can't really explain the script if nothing if it doesn't really work. Oh my bad. I forgot to put the mouse button one click. So basically I didn't specify which mouse button it was. So mouse button one click is basically I believe the um left click, not the right click. So now it should work, hopefully. Come on. If it works then I can now explain the script. Okay? So we're just we're just wanting and you know, let's just turn it on. Let's go. Okay, it works. Yes, this is the Halloween outfit for um this year. I'm I'm also very scared of my own creation. But anyway, so if I were to turn it on, it turns on. If I were to turn it off, then boom, right there, on, off, on, off. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, you can put that in your game if you want. You know now now we're just gonna add a bit more uh, finer details. You know I like to not overdo it, but just make it a bit more uh, cleaner. You know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get night vision night vision sound hopefully this should give me something good oh uh, yeah I could work with that um, so we're just gonna put that to sound right over here so if pressed then sound play right there uh, we forgot about the local local sound equals night vision dot frame dot sound sound play then sound pause I believe there we go so basically okay let me explain this entire script so here are the variables and it explains some part of this so now on that mouse button one click so if you click on this button right here because I added a text button it's not a text label it's very different things so if I if you turn on or like if you click this um, text button it will uh, no, fire a function uh, it will do vision dot visible equals to true and sound call and play so it will play the sound basically next thing is off that mouse button click same thing with here it will connect it to a function vision dot visible equals false so basically it will make it so that this thing right here the frame will become visible or like no it will become uh, not visible sorry so if I were to press play here it should work now Okay, uh, just wait for it to load. I might do more of this stuff, especially horror game material related stuff, because my first game was actually a horror game. And plus it's the spooky month, so you know, we, we gotta get a bit spooky. So we're just gonna turn it on. Uh, turn it on, I mean. There we go, you heard that sound. Oh yeah. So right, every time I click it, it just makes that sound. Then I just turn it off. Okay, I kind of wish the off button has a sound. So let me just um get a sound off sound. Let's try to get an off sound today. <coughs> nope. Uh, hmm. Nope, not that. Off. Uh, night vision off sound. You can find a lot of sounds in the uh, Roblox. Ooh, I might need it. Turn off TV sound. We also, uh, it's also best to like try to play around with the sounds. Turn off TV sound. Turn off, turn off. Nope, no. I might have to just use this one. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna rename this one. Oh, wait, is it this one? Let's, let's change the speed a bit actually. Playback speed. Yeah, that's pretty good. So four. We're gonna rename this sound one for simplicity. Sorry, I made that noise. I am very sorry. Okay. Uh, so now we're just gonna do local sound one equals night vision dot frame dot sound one right there. So now what we're gonna do is sound one play. Make sure they're not in loop 
or else it will just keep playing. So right there, I think everything should be fine now. Everything should be working. Let us try. Yeah, this is all pretty much trial and error base. There will be, I mean, it really depends if you're really good at scripting, but there will be a lot of times where you mess up the coding. Okay, that needs to be a bit faster, but you know, that works, you get the idea, you got your own sounds for that, but yeah. If you turn it on, it turns on, works perfectly, you turn it off, then it turns off. Right there, alright, so that works. Thank you so much guys for watching, hope you have a good day, stay safe and God bless. I might upload more now, since it's a bit of a, it's a three day, um, three day like break I believe, and I think we won't be busy that much in our school days, so that's, be, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, thank you so much guys for watching. Hope you have a good start to your Halloween, you know. Don't go to, I don't suggest trick or treating yet, not gonna lie. It's, it's kind it kind of scares me not, you know. But but like if you're vaccinated then sure go ahead, but ask your parents first and don't eat too much candy or else your teeth will go broken. So, thank you very much guys for watching. Stay safe and God bless. And I hope you learned something today. Goodbye.